gonna skip the countdown because I'm a little late. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful Wednesday. And we are here back with more Super Mario Odyssey because y'all voted. We're still gonna 100% this, even though I was surprised uh, that y'all said that after we did uh, The Darker Side of the Moon. But we beat that level, finally. And so now we're gonna be heading over to the Lake Kingdom. And we're going to start working our way that way. Dang, Brian, you fast. <laughs> I think that's a nice one. Because, yeah. Oh, no. We haven't. Yeah, we've done everything we can do in Cap Kingdom and Cascade Kingdom and Sand Kingdom. So, oh, I guess Wooded Kingdom would technically be next. But, eh. I already put the Lake Kingdom. <laughs> I already put the Lake Kingdom on the thumbnail. So, that's what we're going to go with. I thought that the... Lake Kingdom came before the wooded one. But, oh well. Rosy rosies. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this knocked out. Now, where is this rock that we gotta go hit to get more moons? Uh, it's over there. Cool. So let's go over there and get that. Oh, I almost hit that too. Oh wait, I'm still in assist mode. Hang on, let's save and let's get out of assist mode because we don't need that anymore. We just needed that for. Uh... Yeah, we just needed that for that one level. All right, there we go. So now we're back to normal. I can't jump on it again? I thought I could. Maybe I can't. Alright, and so we definitely don't have all the purple coins here, so we keep an eye out for those. Uh, Nicholas, thank you. Can you do Dracula arguing with Donkey over waffles? No, I am telling you. You need to use the blood syrup. Oh man, that's nasty right there. Don't use maple syrup on, on waffles. No, it's not true blood. It's like a blood substitute. That is the best kind of setup for waffles. Hey, yo, man, I don't know what you're doing over there at Hotel Transylvania, whatever that is. But I'm telling you right now, it is maple syrup. And anyone who said otherwise don't understand waffles. <laughs> That's not as many as I thought there'd be. Are there not a lot in this level? How many moons total are there? Oh, this one's only got 42. Yeah, that's actually not too many. Cool. So let's start working on these. Do we have a fish in here? Like a cheap cheap somewhere? Oh. There's a bird. Oh. I thought I was going to get the bird. I don't remember if we did this or not, but we're going to do it now. Oh, we already did do this. Are the birds back? No, but it's flying. Oh, gosh. The <laughs> I don't know why, but that... That lady person who was talking to me scared me so much because it sounded like somebody was right here next to me. Oh my gosh, I was like, ah! Okay. Oh gosh, no! Oh, I had a plan. The plan did not work. Alright. Oh, there's another one. I didn't see this one. There we go. You know, if Mario can use Cappy to possess Bowser's minions, why can't Peach use Tiara to uh, do the same and escape? That's a good question. I don't know why they didn't think of that. <laughs> All right, where is the bird? Oh. 
There it is. Ah, cred. That is a very good question. Where's the beard? Oh, there it is. Actually, I realize this might not be the best spot for it after all, to try to get the bird, but we're gonna try. Here, this is probably gonna be better. If we go over here, it comes this way pretty high up, so I think if I wait up here by this dude, it'll come over here right next to me, and I totally miss it. All right, well, let's wait here for it. It'll come back. Did Sandy not want to come down with you? No. She was awake, and she, like, watched me as I went down, but I'm like, okay, do you not want to come? She just kind of looked at me, and I was like, okay, I guess you don't want to come. Because normally she just starts following me down if she wants to go. I think she was more like, are you done with work, or are you going back down? I think that's what it was. To me! Ah, sad day. Maybe this Pauline character thinks you've been giving her mixed signals. Well, I mean, I'm sure Mario did because of, you know the whole Peach thing. But I have been clear. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now let's see. All right, let's get up here. I think oh, we haven't done this. Yeah. Cue. That's coins back there. Let's go do some stuff up here. Oh, there's this over here. I should probably do this. There we go. Okay, gotta be careful on those. Just making sure there's not wherever the second moon is. Brian Pauline is not into you. She's been trying to be gentle about it. You can make it awkward. I know, it's just I want to believe it. She made her feelings abundantly clear last stream. By not even acknowledging my presence, forget the fact I was invisible. She acted like I was invisible. And not just because of that. Alright, um... Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, I jumped on the frog. Oh, oh, I see. So that's the, that's the moon I'm supposed to get. And then that key over there is going to unlock another moon. Uh, Rachel, thank you. Oh, hi, Brian. Can you do Dracula not understanding Scooby-Doo? Hello, welcome to Hotel Transylvania. How can I help you? Wait, what? We never should open this hotel to dogs. Johnny, why was this your brilliant idea? I didn't time that jump well. Oh, that's okay. We did it. I didn't time that oh, jump great. Oh, we did. It's okay. Okay.
Uh oh. Dang it. <laughs> Hotels for Dogs was a movie and a book. Yeah, I remember that one. I didn't actually. I think I watched them. I think I read both the book and I watched the movie. I don't remember either one, but I remember it was a thing. And I remember at the time I really enjoyed it. Or maybe I had to do it for school. Now this one's way easier than going this way. Okay. Oh gosh. Uh oh. Uh. No. Okay, I gotta be better at that. This is why Shaggy needs to be nearby to translate. It's true though. Most of the time you can understand Scooby, but there are sometimes you just can't. You just can't understand it. Miss Art Rules, thank you. Sometimes you don't want to be together all the time. Love is an art form. It will have its warm times and its cool times. Can you handle that, Pauline? <laughs> oh, yeah. But, yeah. No! Ah! But, yeah, I know. You're not supposed to be together all the time in a relationship. Y'all gotta, gotta have time. Y'all gotta have time apart. It's only a thing. Can you understand that, Pauline? Can you understand? Okay, all right. Okay. Gosh. I was doing good with the frog, and all of a sudden I'm having problems. Did you notice that Pauline was wearing the Mario hat after you beat the darker side, though? I did notice that. And at first I thought it meant that she cared, but it didn't. She's just like, oh, you know, thanks for doing all this stuff, friend. Just leave me in the bread zone. I get it. I get it. Okay. Okay. So yeah, this one I've got to do after it goes. Oh no, ah, I was doing good. I was doing good. Okay. Maybe you should go check back on her in the city. No, she made it abundantly clear where we stand. And you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go finish I'll, I'll come back to the city when I gotta go finish more uh, more moons, but you know She made it she made it very clear where we stand and you know what I respect her decision. I don't like it, but I respect it Ah crud All right, we can do this we could do this it shouldn't be that difficult, but yet it is because I was doing really good at this at first, thinking I was just going to knock this out, but... This is way easier than the darker side of the moon. Like, not even close to the same level of difficulty. This is just me getting a little tripped up here. Yeah, because that's the thing. I've got to... Ah, come on. Ooh. I can't get to the frog. Come here. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Hup. Uh oh. I waited too long. I waited too long. Oh, oh, oh. No! Oh. Good night alive. Okay. We're gonna do this, you guys. And it's not gonna take that long. If I can do the darker side of the moon. I really need to stop that. Dustin, thank you. If I got married, where would I want to have my wedding? Um, I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I never really thought about it much. I don't know. I don't... I'm not usually the kind of guy who'd want to go do a big, crazy, extravagant thing. But, obviously, if my wife wanted to, I would be willing to forgo what I want for her. Um, in that regard. So, I would... I don't know. If it were up to me, it'd probably just be a wedding in, uh... Either the church I go to, or... You know... A nice church nearby. I wouldn't want to go crazy far or anything. Um, but if she wanted to do something bigger, I would not be opposed. Um, but, you know, I don't even have a girlfriend right, right now, let alone marriage. So, <laughs> oh, do we have it? Yes, we did it. Okay. Okay, now we gotta get back. No! Ah! No! I probably should have jumped, let it go, and then go. But also when it comes to ceremonies and stuff like that, I'm not really big on them, you know? If I had my way, I'd just keep it like, you know, super simple. And when I mean simple, I mean simple. Like, oh gosh. What if your future wife wanted to elope? I don't know how, well, I don't know how much I'd be up for eloping. It's because I feel like eloping would require or like would imply that you know we're doing this because like our family members don't approve and stuff and i would hope that whoever i would eventually marry if i do marry anybody at all would be somebody that my family would be happy to have around and we wouldn't have to go through stuff like that but i guess it doesn't have to be the only way i don't want to do it that way because i i'd at least want you know family and close friends to be there I don't need all I don't need like 300 people there especially like when I don't know over thir three fourths of them but you know so it's like I'm also just not big on ceremonies in general I'm not really a big fan of those I'm gonna just like hey this cool thing happened you know let's celebrate by like going out to just getting a meal together having fun and going home not going to this special place um, paying a bunch of money to be there, having to wear super fancy clothes, doing all this when, you know, you just, I don't know, go to Chili's, have a good time, and then everybody go home. Or maybe a nicer restaurant than Chili's, but, you know, something special. And then everybody goes home. That's my thought, but, you know, apparently, uh, ceremonies and celebrations are like a big thing to a lot of people. It's not to me, though. This art rules, have it at your parents' ranch? <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I would not want to do that. I don't I don't think that would be fun for me. Let's see here. Aha. Let's just stay here for a second. Okay, now that that's done, we can jump through this and up here and beat this one wave. And that's what I need to do on this one. So here I can jump against the wave. Okay. So 
So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just jump up here. Uh oh, I messed up the timing on this, I think. Chilies for the newlyweds. Well, it doesn't have to be chilies, just very much like a. I don't like making a big deal about that kind of stuff. Like, I just wanna go somewhere fun that everybody enjoys and everybody's happy, and then we go home. You know, not a huge, like, four hour thing with all this formality and all that stuff. That just drives me crazy. But, you know, I know I have to do it to some degree because tradition and all that jazz. And there's a... There's a there's a Lady Goomba, so I gotta go find the Goombas. I know there's some Goombas up here, but I have to get the Goombas over here. Oh, oh my gosh! They... Ah! Stop it! Okay. Alrighty. Logan, thank you. I know that crane flies or mosquito eaters are harmless, but they still freak me out. Fun fact, they don't even eat mosquitoes. Uh, I think I know what you're talking about, because I, I have not heard of them called as crane flies before. I swear, I keep finding more names about these things. Jocelyn, thank you for becoming a member. Um, because yeah, I've heard of them as mosquito eaters. I grew up calling them mayflies. Um, but I find that really interesting. Okay. Well, how do I get them now? This art rules. Thank you, David Busters. Yeah, no, definitely not David Busters. Although I would have more fun there. That would be most fun for me. I love Dave and Buster's, but I yeah, know that definitely wouldn't go over well. Okay. All right. These all fell down. So that's good. Alrighty. Let's hop up here. Get these, get back on this, and this might be enough. Ooh. To get me to be able to like fall here and not lose all the Goombas. Oh no, that does lose them all. Well then how do I get somebody down here? Wait, thank goodness the stairs are fixed and we're going the long way around. To be honest, Dave & Buster's is fun. It is fun. I don't think I could ever do a wedding there, but I could. I, I would definitely have more fun there than at a normal wedding. I would say that. Again, like I said, I'm not a big fan of ceremony. I'm not up for formalities. They're not my thing. I will abide by them if I need to, but I don't like them. Kimberly, thank you. How do I get just one Goomba down there? Maybe if I just get here and then jump across here. Almost. Oh. Thank you, Joey. Even I can bounce better than that. <laughs> also, when it comes to Pauline, I'm a victim of circumstance. Of circumstance. Uh, also, time for fun with Johan. Okay, give me a second. Let me try to get over here. Is this underwater, technically? I need to go find a heart or something. How do I get a Goomba to you? Ah, uh, Logan, thank you. It's those bugs that look like mosquitoes. Their actual name is cane, Crane Fly. Mosquito Eater, Mosquito Hawk, just a couple of nicknames. I, yeah, I've heard Mosquito Eater. I've heard Mosquito Hawk. I've never heard of Crane Fly. I guess that's its actual name. But, um, yeah, we always called them Mayflies. But, yeah, I know a lot of people that are really freaked out by them. It's not just you. 
Um, yeah, like one of my roommates is terrified of them, and every time it's, that happens, I have to go take care of it because they're too scared to deal with it. Which I get, no shame. It's just not one that bothers me. Okay, can I make this? Uh, Dr. Mar, thank you. Did you check if that frog area had another moon? I got both. I got both moons. There were two. I got them both. Okay, maybe... Maybe if I... No. I feel like I'm just wasting time doing this. Wait a minute. Did you collect the moons in this game because of the wedding theme and honeymoons? That thought just occurred to me. I never thought about it that way. But I guess that could be a reason. Uh, Jason, thank you. Uh, how do you feel about the characters in Madagascar having cartoony designs? Because to me, they look nice and cool. It, it, it made them feel very unique. I really appreciated the fact that they were trying to go for a different style than just, you know, just doing the Shrek formula again. Or going like the hardcore real, or trying to go like super realism like uh, that company did with the wild. I thought it was, uh, I thought it really made it stand out and set it apart, and I thought it was a fun design. Okay. Well, now I gotta see. This is gonna bug me. How do I get a Goomba down there? I feel like I'm really overthinking this. I feel like I should just be able to come down here, jump from here, but, yeah. Maybe if you sprint and jump. I can sprint as a Goomba? Why does everything in Mario is always like, oh, you can sprint, but we're never going to tell you. You can sprint. Mario is just bound and determined to be like, oh, you can sprint, but we'll never tell. I just start assuming in Mario that everything sprints. And that was it. Sprinting! That's gonna drive me bonkers forever. Just Mario's gonna keep putting sprinting in the game and never explaining that it's in there and just assumes that you'll know it. That's like one of my biggest pet peeves in Mario. Tell me when you have an ability I can use! It's one thing if you tell me and I forget. But it's another thing if you're just like never telling me I can sprint. That's annoying. Okay. I do got to get Bo in here now. All right. Uh, not Bo. I'm sorry. Johan. Let me go get Johan now. Johan. Hello, everyone. It is Johan, yeah? Time for fun with Johan. Time for fun with Johan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Time for fun with Johan. Okay. Hello, everyone. Finally, we're done with the darker side of the moon, yeah? So let's see what we can find here. There's probably a limo, huh? Yep. There's a limo. I'm surprised Brian didn't seem to do this yet, yeah? There we go. It's gonna get here someday. There it is. Okay. All right. Ah! And let's see here. I bet Brian even didn't even take a picture of this. Wait. So, what's the... Oh. Oh. There's a thing. Actually, you know what? Let's go figure that out. I know we're doing a lot of the Lake Kingdom, but we can finish up Cascade, right? Let's go do that. Because sprinting has been around since Super Mario Brothers, most Mario games automatically try to see if you can. Plus, it did tell you to split when you sprint when you first possess something. Okay, give it 
sat. Uh, Brian will give it sat, I guess. But I, I don't know. I, I wasn't here for that. But he'll have it during later. Okay. Let's go to the Cascade Kingdom. Let's see here. Alright. Oh! Did we already get the moon for this one? For the traveling guys? Yummy crap. Oh, that's where you're going next. Okay. We did get that. Okay. Wait, wrong button. That Cascade Kingdom was finished. It is, except for there was a secret art one we had to get. And I think that's what that art was for. So if we go up here. It was from here. One of these was missing. Well, Cascade was as done as we could get it before. There's still a couple to get. Wait, do we break it? Hang on, let's... Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Okay, so one... Ow! One, two, three, four, five, and then yeah, I got rid of the six, so would it be here? But did I already get this one? Secret path to Fossil Falls. We still have that one to get. Oh, I think that was it. Oh, I think we already did get that one. Um, I don't see... Sphinx traveling to the waterfall. I don't see anything about art. Okay, well, we only have one left, and it's not that. Okay, so, sorry. Johan wasted your time. Ow. Oh, Logan, thank you. I don't know why, but the last couple of days I've been wanting to hear about the scene where the ancestor spirits talk about Mulan sounds like in Stitcher's voice. Uh, Brian can do that when he gets back. It would be in the Lake Kingdom Moons? Oh. So did we get that one? <laughs> I probably should have checked that before I left. Whoopsies! So let's check it. Uh, let's see. Uh oh, maybe we didn't. Okay. I guess we'll look at it later. Alright, let's do a race. We're roving races, we roll the globe, yes. Alright, what, what's the race? Where do we go? The Cooper free running? Okay. How do we get over there? I'm gonna kind of run slow to see where they're going. Okay. 
because, yeah, Johan doesn't know where we're going. That's the advice I would be trying to get ahead of him faster. Ow! But let me move! Okay, so now Johan knows how to get here. Yeah, so Johan can do better next time, but I need to go get Brian now. So, okay. I know I wasn't gonna win, I just kinda wanna know where to go. So, Brian, you were watching that, right? All right, so I'm pretty sure now that I saw where to go by watching Johan, then uh, you wanted to see the Mulan ancestors talk in Stitch's voice. Well, we can't all be acupuncturists. No, your great granddaughter had to be a crossdresser. <laughs> Let the gardens set her up. <laughs> Let the gardens get her back. Yes, send the most cunning. No, awaken the most kind. No, send the wisest. Silence! We will send the most powerful of all. Okay, okay, I get the drift, I'll go. <laughs> Alright, so now I know how to get over there. Actually, oh, this would be way faster if I skipped that middle part. Oh, I don't have the staircase. Can I get there without the staircase, though? Wait, maybe... Oh, okay, maybe... Uh, wait, what's that? Oh. Okay, so that's not gonna quite work the way I thought. But maybe... Alright, now I'm just trying to experiment. I know I'm gonna lose this one right now if I don't move faster. Oops. Yeah, I know. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get up there. It was a nice thought, though. If the staircase was there, I would have kicked their butts. I'm sure there's a way I can get up there. I don't know what it is. So we're going to retry. Oh, I barely missed him. Try long jumping then doing the hat? Okay. I could try that. Huh? 
Because, yeah, if I can get on top of that, I can make up some serious... Well, here's what I'm going to try to do. Before we even start it, I'm going to try to do it from here. Well, I can make it to this part. But this part's gone whenever we do the race, which is kind of a frustrating thing. We can also do this while we wait. I can try the races again in a little bit. Uh, Jason, thank you. Hey, Brian, can you say woohoo, woohoo, woohoo as Daffy Duck when he goes crazy? Fun fact, Daffy means crazy. Oh, yeah. I totally knew the Daffy thing. Sorry if that peaked the mic. I was trying not to, but it happens. Okay. <laughs> All right, where's the big one? Oh, there's the big fish. Come on, big fish. Come on. Come on, big sandfish. Come on. Come on. All right, here we go. Where's the big fish? I just have a little one. Little fish, quit scaring off the big fish. There we go. No, the big fish keeps disappearing. Hmm. Speaking of fishing, do you love fishing, Brian? I do. I haven't got to do it in forever, but oh, I love fishing. Come here. And I know I see that secret entrance. Okay, you're, you're right there. Start nibbling on it. Nibble. Here, give me a nibble. Come here. There we go. No. Well, it started to. And I moved. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yes! Okay, we got the good one. I thought we got one of the little ones. There was like three, so I couldn't tell which one was it. I was like, I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Ow! Dad gum goombas. Maybe though. Hang on, I got an idea. Gotta try to see. No, not that way. King Jordan, is that you? You can never tell. All right. There has to be a way I can get up here. Uh, when you ah, Goombas. Go away! You shouldn't be able to get to me! No, it's just for that. There, they're all in the water now. Um, AJ, thank you. When you get around to the Violet Nuzlocke, are you planning on doing just the base game or will you do DLC content too? Here's what I'll say about that. I thought about that. Um, I'm gonna start with just the base game content and if you guys really wanna see more, then I will do DLC as well. I will say that. But I was planning on just kind of leaving it that base for now. And if y'all wanted to continue, we would. Mm. I feel like there's got to be a way I can get over here for the race. Goombas, get out of my face. Is there a way I can swim faster? Okay. Make that. Well, maybe. I don't think I can. Can I? I don't think so. 
I'll give it a try. I'll try the long jump again. If I did it right. Hang on. Yeah, if I can't, if I could jump on it just one more time, I could do it, but it's only letting me jump once in a once and then nothing. Do I need to like do another maneuver? So if I do like a long jump, if I can do something after a dive, right? So it's like a jump. You could just win it fair and square. Well, that's the thing. I'm, I can beat them right now just doing the regular thing, but then there's the second race where the main dude is just going to be so dadgum fast. So it does, wait, I have an idea. Let's see. I don't think you can win without some crazy speedrunner maneuvers. That's what I was thinking. So then if I... Maybe? That still seems far. Hmm. Do you guys got any ideas? Because I'm not that far. If I could just do something to make myself go a little bit further before I do that final dive. I was thinking if I spun my controller, it would make me go faster, but nope. Okay, I'm gonna beat this first one. But yeah. I'm definitely not going to be able to beat the second one. So, huh. Have I tried jumping across there? What's jumping across there mean? I feel like I could, I feel like that's what you're supposed to be able to do. Guys, get any, guys, got any other ideas I'm not thinking of? I don't remember if I've gotten this one or not. I already got that one. Okay. Maybe just skipping the flowers and doing a long jump. Uh, 
Okay. All right, let's try this. Logan, thank you. Do you think Peter Dinklage was a poor casting choice for the live action Snow White, considering the type of dwarf roles he usually takes? I thought they weren't casting any dwarf roles and like took that part out and that made a lot of people upset. I thought, maybe I'm misunderstanding. I thought that was a thing. I thought that was what Disney was in trouble for. They didn't use any dwarf actors for like for something that was good for them. I don't know. I don't know. All of it just hurts my head. I was like, whatever. I just want to see a good story. I don't, I don't know all the other issues with it. So if it's good, cool. But I don't have high hopes for it. I'm gonna be honest. I am not, I'm, I don't know. I'm saying, I, I, I thought that they weren't casting anybody that was a little person in those roles, and that's why everyone was upset in the first place, but I could be totally wrong. Did really bad there. I think I beat one. So basically, where it falls down on that, I am not. I. The thing with that, um, wait. See, Pete Mazingo would definitely say that Disney is in trouble for not using little people. Well, see, that's that's the thing is i am not a little person i don't know what we should or should do in that regard as i don't know what they're looking for i don't know if the seven dwarves is do they not like the seven dwarves or are they upset because it's one of the roles that would be perfect for a little person and they're not utilizing it i could see the argument on both sides but i am not I'm not part of that group, and I don't know what's best in this situation, so I don't feel like I really need to comment in that regard. I'm like, let the people who are actually affected by this tell you what's, you know, the best thing to do, and I will take their word for it, because I don't know. That's my thought process. I wish there was a way I could, like, get up here. No. Okay. Did I beat the game? <laughs> well, we beat the story, but uh, everyone voted to 100% it, so we're working on that right now. So how do I do this? There's gotta be a way. I got it. Uh, Miss Hot Rules, thank you. Have you asked your parents to mail you the didgeridoo? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. They're, they're not going to mail me my didgeridoo. I don't need them to. It's all right. It's fine staying there.
try a triple jump from where the mermaid's standing? Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Oh, crap. That's not a bad idea. Hang on, let me do this and maybe this pipe thing and then we'll try that. Oh, why, why am I not doing good? I don't think you guys want to hear me play the didgeridoo as much as you think you do. Because didgeridoos are monotone instruments. It's not like I can play like a piano concerto or anything like that. It's I can basically drone a note and do a couple of cool accents to it. It's fun for like a few seconds. And unless you have like a bunch of other music with it, it's not a lot. It, it, you don't really hear didgeridoo solos. And there's a reason for that. Not that didgeridoos are bad instruments by any means. They're, they're cool, but they're more supplemental to songs as opposed to like being instruments you want to hear played all the time. Okay. There we go. Oh, and we got some purple coins in there. Nice. Yeah, it probably costs too much money to mail too. Oh yeah, that thing's not easy to ship. For sure. You've become quite skilled at being flat. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Um Okay. Oh, that actually has potential. If I do it just yeah, if you're if you do it just right where the mermaid is. Oh, okay. Well, I don't I need more height. Oh, maybe yeah, if I can do it right here. No. No. Why can't I? And that worked. Oh, okay. So let's see if I do this. Ha ha! I can do it! Oh, whoever suggested that was brilliant. I don't know who you were. I don't know who said that. Who said that? Who said the jump, triple jumping over there? I want to give props. I want to give props. Oh, Zach. Try a triple jump from where the mermaid's standing. Thank you, Zach. That was awesome. Okay, we're going to try that. If we can do that, oh, we would totally kick this guy's butt. Thank you, Zach. That was awesome. That was awesome. MVP of the stream right there. Booyah. <laughs> Or one of the MPV MVPs. We have we've got a few. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay, we got some time though. We got some time. It's gonna take me a little bit of time to get used to exactly how to do this. Ha ha! And with that, we're automatically in first. Uh oh. Not for long though.
Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, gosh. No! Oh, oh no. Okay. Come on. Hey, that worked. Your mods are MVPs, right? Oh, they're always MVPs. That's why I said one of the MVPs. Zach's one. The mods are all one. We've had a few others in stream that have just been really awesome. We're even doing better time than the first time. Oh, yeah. Super chat missed. Who did I miss? Hang on. Give me a second. Let me finish this race, even though uh, I'm kicking their butts. <laughs> How long does it take the Koopas to even show up? Will it let me sit here long enough to see? Like, if I sit here long enough, how long is it going to take them to show up? Let me see the super chat I missed. Oh, Jason, thank you. All of a sudden, I don't know why, but I want to hear Crazy Daffy Duck driving Dracula nuts, even though he drives Porky Pig nuts. I want to hear Daffy drive Dracula nuts. Okay, we can definitely do that in just a second. I'm going to see how long it takes the other Koopas to get here. How bad did we beat him? It took that long! Oh, I had such a head start. And that was the fast one, too. I was surprised not like, you cheated! Like, you never said which way I had to go. You said I'd get to the finish line first. And I did. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Hello, welcome to Hotel Transylvania. Hey there, buddy! I just wanted to let you know that you've got a real flanky hotel here. Oh, I thank you. Would be awful if I messed it up. <laughs> what is with this strange bird? Want me to help you over here, sir? <laughs> no, you're painting over great historical artifacts. <laughs> this is just disgusting. Let's throw it out. <laughs> Murray! <laughs> Maximum cheese. Oh, yeah. Well, how are you gonna beat this level? This one is it, kind of calling for it Um, Let's see let's go for some of these oh gun We're only missing two of the ones that are actually on the map. Where are they? Oh, they're all the way over there No wonder I don't have them yet And Super uh, Super Mario 64, they would have said you cheated. That penguin wouldn't let you use the shortcut. I believe it. But Mario Odyssey is working with you. <laughs> I can't decide what's lovelier here. The people or the architecture? Is this where that lovely lock lady dress that Peach wore was made? Oh, hey, a power moon came floating along. It'll be safer with you. <laughs> Yay! I'll take my victory sandwich with extra cheese and extra ketchup, but not for me. I was just thinking about that place with the beautiful flower fields. I'd love to see them again. Nice. Destin, thank you. Uh, what sport are you worst at? All of them. I am not athletic by any means, and I don't intend to be. I'm okay not being athletic at all. Okay. All right. Um, man. Oh, we still got a couple. Is there one like in here? Or here, let me get up here. Wait, hang on. Oh, oh, I see. I see. I see. Can I? Oh, 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 okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, we got a face. No. Okay. 
Yay! Rooftop of the Water Plaza. Logan, thank you. One of my favorite parts of Hotel Transylvania is when the suit of armor gets kicked between the legs and go, Oh! Why did that hurt me? <laughs> that was a really good joke. Why, yes, I am one of the famous style sisters. Inspire me with space clothes. Nothing about you says space right now. Explore new frontier! Dang, okay. Avast, I be the captain of the style sisters. Show me pirate clothes, you scurvy dog. Ye no pirate matey. Oh, and what are you? Howdy, partner. This style wants to take a gander at some cowboy clothes. We are as a, about a western right now as a bowl of spaghetti. What about spaghetti westerns? <laughs> All right, so that was uh, astronaut and uh, cowboy. So we need astronaut, cowboy, and what was the other one? Astronaut, cowboy, and pirate. Uh, we can go ahead and buy some stuff. Ooh. <laughs> I don't need this one right now, but it's fine. Eh, maybe later. I gotta change into stuff anyway. Okay. Actually, we can go ahead and get the big one right now. Alright. So we still gotta get some more, but that's okay. Um... I was going to say, I think we've unlocked... Oh, no, we haven't unlocked all of the costumes yet. We've done a lot, though. Um, we can go ahead and get a couple of these. Let's get... Do we want to get the sunshine shades? Because, yeah, these are all expensive now. So it's going to take me a while to unlock all those. Especially some of these that are like... <laughs> oh, the zombie. <gasps> I want to be a conductor. We'll do that one. Space Pirate Cowboy almost sounds like Star War uh, Star Lord. That's true, though. Okay. Let's do. Let's do this one. I'm trying to do the ones that aren't too expensive. And then I can start working on the other ones. Alright. That's good for now. And then we'll get. How many do we have left to unlock? Just, I think just two, right? Yeah. 15 left and then 35 left. Cool. Dark Jamor, thank you. Uh, in Family Guy's Star Wars special, the Stormtrooper gets shot by the Ewok Stone Arrow and goes, This armor is useless. Why do I even wear it? It's true, though. Their armor is super useless. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and do the pirate one first because it's the first one that I remembered. All right, let's go do it. The lock lady dress is very pretty. Yep, that is. Who put this giant hole down underwater? Oh, what do you need? You should dress for the occasion. If you want to see the lock lady dress up close, you should be in swim clothes. Okay, well, okay, I got to get in swim clothes for that. Okay, that's fine. I don't need to do it right now. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's helpful. Oh, can I just warp between the two? Oh, that'd be super helpful. Oh, wait, no, that's just gonna warp me there. Okay, well, how do I get back up to the roof? Oh, purple coins. There we go. Okay, only four left in the entire kingdom. Oh, there we go. Let's do that. Uh, Joey, thank you. Are you going to see the new Deadpool movie? Uh, maybe. Inside Out 2? Yes. Or Ghostbusters? I haven't checked out Ghostbusters as of yet, even though I did enjoy the new reboot. But I haven't seen the sequel to it. Uh, right now, I just... I might. I might check it out on streaming, but I'm not going to go to the theater for it. Um... 
Is there also, is there gonna be another sidekick impressions video? Uh, probably at some point, but not at this moment. And also speaking to cowboys, it's Bo's turn. Okay, hang on, let me do this and I'll go get him. All right, show me. Hi, that's it. Now you are a pirate treaded across the seven seas. I grant this power moon for your help. You're worth it. Oh, I'm worth it. She said I'm worth it. <laughs> this art rules, thank you. Do you still go on Discord? You showed your artwork. Oh, that's cool. Um, I go on occasionally. I need to go on more than I do, but I, <laughs> I do. I, it's just when I'm not working, it's, I, I, I always want to try to get, it's like, I just want to turn my brain off and just not do anything. So I need to be more, uh, I need to try to get on there more often. I apologize, but I go on there occasionally. All right, let me go. Are you going to start sipping over the Silas sisters now? No. It's just nice of you to compliment. <laughs> All right, let me go get uh, Bo. Bo! Well, hey there, y'all. Uh, if I overheard, Brian's got to be an astronaut and a cowboy. We all know which one we're doing first. We're not, we're not playing around. You should be this all the time, but I get it. You can't always do that in this game, huh? All right. Let's go show this to them lady people. Style, style sisters and what they call themselves. All right. I think you wanted the cowboy, right? I don't, this one, cowboy clothes, that's right. Yeehaw, you're a cowboy from hat to heel. Well, yeah, I got spurs, so yeah. Hey, this power moon for a badge. There's a new sheriff in town. That's right. And that sheriff is me. Alrighty. And the other one said that they wanted, uh... They wanted, uh... Words, Bo. Astronaut. Let's go do that. All right. Astronaut. Pretty sure Brian's already unlocked astronaut. Has he? I don't think he's unlocked astronaut. Well, that's not okay. Well, I guess we got to go do that later. I think he's got to do that in the... On the moon. Destin, thank you. Hey, Bo, you ever been to Country General Store in Van Nuys? That's where you got your Stetson? No, I've never been there, but hey. Get on, you're forgetting the Stetson. That's good stuff right there. If you travel all the way to Lake Kingdom, you should dress for the occasion. If you want to see the lock lady dress up close, got me in swim clothes. Can you look ready to swim? Please go inside. All right, what can we do in here? Oh, there we go. go there we go all right but now we got to go figure out I'm half tempted to leave this level go get the go unlock the astronaut suit and come back start Dramore, thank you what do you think of Brian simping for Pauline I, hey he's entitled to his opinion I've never simped for a video game character before, but Brian can do what he wants. It's a little odd if you ask me, but hey, he's happy. This way. Oh, that just gets you up to the next floor. Let's 
it's down here. Now, this is really deep. It is really deep. It's kind of scaring me. There is going to be air for me down here, right? Something tells me this wasn't the best way to go. Alright, we got air. Swim with the backpack and stuff. I don't even know how I made it here. I did discover this power moon. You can have it. Oh, that was deep. Alright, well, we got our health back, so that's alright. Let's see what else is down here before we go through the pipe. Oh, there's another moon. Really glad I checked down here. Well, snorkels don't work if you submerge them. Only if you give up. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Been to the shop? Yep, I've been to the shop. It looks like there's stuff to do over here. Oh, what's... Whoa, you're hidden back here. What's this? Oh, you found me. Very clever. You can have this as a reward. I get a move for this. All right, I get a move for it. Just getting a bunch right now. Let's see. Anything back here? Ah, lots of coins. I'll take those. Thank you. I think I remember being a cheap, cheap to get down there. Well, hi. It, it worked. And that's all that's there. Okay. I was planning to grow flowers, but I lost my seed in a spiky tunnel. All right, well, I guess we got to go find that seed in the spiky tunnel. I think of Beyonce's album. You mean the Texas Hold'em one? It's not bad. You know, it's not. Uh, I'd rather have true country, but you know, country adjacent ain't bad sometimes. Is this a spiky tunnel? That looks probably it. Oh. Well, she said she lost it in a spiky tunnel. Not a spiky tunnel. Oh, purple coins. Oh, and there is a seed. I think these are the last purple coins in the whole level. Yeah, got them all. We got to get this back as Mario. No cheat, cheat, and not die. Destin, thank you. Favorite George Strait song? That would definitely be Love Without End. Amen. Love that. Come back. I know. I'm about to get hurt. Oh, I'm about to. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Get some air. There we go.
that was so lucky. I know, right? All right, there we go. Uh oh, not what I meant. Don't get in there. Don't get in there. There we go. It feels like good. It feels good to make things grow. That is true. All right. Okay. Let's uh. What's this? Okay, what's in here? Alright, well actually, I should probably go get Brian for this. Brian. Okay, well Bo did not leave me with much health, but he got a few... He finished up the purple coins and he got a got he got another moon or two, so that's good. Okay, so there's gonna be uh, a key somewhere. I really hope there's health on this level too. Or else this is gonna get really annoying really fast. I was supposed to go over here, but I'm doing it. Oh, I must say, did I just die? Okay, good. No, the super secret zipper. Wait, so was that the extra moon? Do I miss singing opera? Um, sometimes. Sometimes. And there's other times where, you know, I'm sometimes glad to have some of that formality pressure off me, so. There are definitely times I miss it, though. I There is something very, there, there's a great release. Just singing as loud as you can, and it's encouraged. But doing so from like a really healthy perspective, there's something so powerful about opera. And like you feel powerful doing it, and sometimes, like it just feels so good. You just, you know, just let loose and just go for it. Ooh, coins! Yes, please. All right. All righty. Oh boy. Okay. Well, all right. That was one way to do it. Then we just go back. Okay. Too bad you can't make opera, I mean, opera channel too much on your plate. Well, that was gonna be what Vocal Tunes partially was. Like, I was gonna get more operatic as we went along and just, like, be able to experiment. Like, I was already planning on uh, doing the the song Time to Say Goodbye, which is not opera, but it's opera adjacent. Um, that was already on the plan. But unfortunately, just right now, I can't make that happen. But I still believe in that channel. And I still want it to come back. Same thing with Ranger Ray. But just right now, it's not a good time. But one day, I think it'll be a good time again. And then I will give it another shot. I thought this was going to be a good time, and it was not. So, unfortunately, there were 
other things that made both Ranger A and a music channel really difficult at the moment. But it won't be like that forever. And one day when some of those external issues go away, I can pick it back up. Which is sad because by then, I'm sure most people will have forgotten about it. But you know what? I still believe in it. But that's been, I'm, I'm kind of on like an experimental journey right now. As I'm trying a whole bunch of new things, trying to see what I can do, what I can't do, what sticks, what doesn't. You know. Did I already do this one? I did. But there is something on top of that. I think. Looks like there was. But we do still need to do this. Though. Kind of miss Critter Common chat, to be honest. Oh, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Okay. Jason, thank you. Say yes, Taz. Taz hungry for a rabbit. <laughs> Why for you bury me in the cold, cold ground? <laughs> okay, uh, we've actually got a ton here now. How many do we have left? Oh, we still have eight. So we got all those, which is nice. Um, but here's what I'm actually gonna do. We're gonna take a quick break from the late kingdom. And go get that um, that astronaut suit, which I bet you anything it's on the moon because we did almost nothing there. The CPU needs love. It's true, though. Being an artist, uh, too, we are still experimenting with what works for us. Yeah, you always got to... Uh, I've made the mistake of getting, like, too comfortable with, like, where I was and not experimenting. And it... It's not a great place to be. And although sometimes it's easier to not experiment, it's worse for you in the long run. So right now I'm really trying to do that. Dr. Moore, thank you. Jack Sparrow's thoughts on Lake Kingdom. It's nice. A little small. I would prefer that to be a little more. Prepared, you know. I want to be able to sail on the seas here, but there's not a lot to sail on. There's a little bit, but not a lot. Savvy. That balloon's going to end up getting too big and burst. I don't think it's going to get quite that big. But it's definitely... How strange to be gazing up from the moon instead of at it. Okay. Oh, Captain Toad. You beat Bowser? I mean, you always do, but still, good job! Oh, and I haven't been slagging off either. I got a power move for you. Cool, we found a power moon. As soon as we start on the moon, so that's cool. All right, um, let's go get some purple coins. I see something up here. Oh. Oh, oh, it was a moon. Well, we'll get a few moons here. That wasn't my intention. I was going to just try to get some purple coins and then go back, but I haven't even broken the, the rock yet, and they're just, like, sitting here waiting for me. But, I mean, that makes sense. I, like I said, when we came here the first time, we barely did anything. Because I intentionally was like, we just need to get to the story today. Get to the story today. There we go. Okay. Okay, so there are purple coins up there. And there's also something here. I'm assuming it's another moon. Yep. We got three moons and we haven't even left. We're like right here by the Odyssey. Okay. 
But I saw some purple coins up here, so let's go up here and see if we can get them. Okay, yep. And that's also where the bird is, so I'll keep that in mind. Oh, I already have some. Okay, cool. Um, I didn't realize I already had some. So let's see how much we're going to need. I'm assuming we need 25 total. Echo filter, you got it, Michelle. Echo! Okay, there it is. I know, that'll work better when we're outside. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, we can already get it. Awesome! We'll go ahead and change now. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get the rock fragment. Perfect. Okay, so we already got it. That was easy. And we're already in the suit. All right, so let's head back to the Lake Kingdom and get that done. Oh, well, we're already here, so let's let this doggy go ahead and tell us where the star is. You know, hey, we're, we're here. And it's not taking up a whole lot of time. We'll grab a couple extra moons while we're here. We're grabbing some moons under moon. That's just coins. I know you'll show me a moon. But I don't know where it is, and I don't know if I want to try to go find it right now. I'm gonna head towards the Odyssey. If you go run off and smell it, by the time I get there, then I will go do it. If you are still following me, yeah, no, okay, we're still following. That's all right, we'll do that. We'll do the doggy again later when we actually come back to the moon for, for Sarah. All right, so let's go back to the Lake Kingdom. Oh, wait, no, not Lost Kingdom. I thought it said Lake Kingdom. I this art roast thank you. <laughs> Taking to the uh, talking to the moon. I'm assuming by the music notes that is a song. I can't think of it for the life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh I know I accidentally went to the wrong kingdom. Hang on. Lake Kingdom, not lost kingdom, Lake Kingdom. There we go. Okay, skip that. Yeah, some of these levels are big and have almost like 100 moons themselves, whereas some of them are smaller like this one and they only got like 40 some. Okay. So while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead, where was the one? Oh, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and just pay to show me where all the other moons are so I can see how many more I can get before the end of this stream. Because we don't have that many left to get. And I know one's gonna be the limo when it gets here. One is gonna be um, Oh gosh. Is the Sphinx here? Maybe it is. But we're gonna find out. Okay. Because I thought there was only eight left, and I know it's not gonna. Show the secret, uh, the hidden entrance. Oh, that's right. There's the hidden entrance to the. I gotta go do that. One. I haven't done that. Okay, cool. So let's go. Let's go do this. Uh... Ah, Goombas! I hate the fact that you watch me as I come up here. Um, let's go do this one while we're here. Let me see. 
get that, and then now we're in the secret tunnel to uh, this kingdom. Secret path to Mount Volbono. There we go. And skip. Cool. All right, we got that one. Let's go to this. And then when I come over here, I'm also gonna go talk to the parrot to get some help on what the names of these actually are that I've unlocked. Okay. And then you wanted an astronaut? I think it was you? Yeah, you wanted the astronaut. I love it. I just love it. Everything about yours, you scream in space and I can hear it. As thanks, take a power move. They're out of this world. Ah, <laughs> I see what you did there. Okay, cool. Alright, so we did that. Let's go down here and talk to the parrot and see what the parrot can tell us. Uh, from the broken pillar. Shopping in Lake Lamode. Oh, I haven't bought the one here yet? A successful repair job. I think he only gives three at a time, doesn't he? Because it should say successful repair job. Okay. I can't believe that I I can't believe I haven't done the shopping one here. Oh, yeah, and I got to wait for that to grow. But there's no sound in space. How can you hear it, lady? That's a good point. That's a very good point. I didn't think about that. I guess I have not bought a moon here. So we're going to do that. Which makes sense. It normally has a little air, a little check mark. Uh, Destin, thank you. Have you ever been to the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena? No, I can't say that I have. I've been to NASA, both uh, the Florida branch and the Houston branch. But I have never done that, no. Okay, so what are some other ones that I'm missing? There's one there. Well, let's see, let's look at the list. From the broken pillar is there. So let's go figure out what that is. The broken pillar. Aha! You are! Well, good find. I had a little help, but we found it. Okay. Let's see, there's a couple other things around here, but I also haven't talked to this lady over here. Maybe she's got something to say. Oh, sorry, <laughs> didn't mean to jump on you. Those fish in their little round bodies are so cute. I want to see one up close, but I'm too nervous to approach one. I wish one would visit me here. All right, I know what's happening here. I see what's happening here. You're face to face with Mario and it's strange. You don't even know how you feel. It's adorable. Cause I just know you want to see a cheap cheap. Open your eyes and let's begin. Yes, I am a cheap cheap now. Breathe it in. Oh, wait, what? I can't go through that. There we go. Close range cuteness. I can hardly stand the adorability. Thanks for coming by, little friend. Do you want a power moon? Yes, I do. There we go. Okay, there you go. Enjoy the fish. 
All right. Um, so there's still one over here. Oh, it's uh, it's the plant. I can't get that one right now. Let's go over here. Maybe it's in here. The rock is gone. You can go inside now. All right. Oh, okay. I want to fix it. I really do, but it's just so heavy. No, wait. Okay, hang on. We got to line this up just right. No, that's not right. Nope, that's not it. I've got to get it to where the top looks like this. Hang on. No. I got to get it to where the bottom piece that needs to go on is facing this way, like this. There we go. Cool. Awesome. Hey, Brian, love your singing voice. Did you ever take voice lessons? Oh, my gosh. I took so many. I took so many. <laughs> yes, yes. I took many, many voice lessons. I was uh, in voice lessons through uh, most of middle school, all of high school, and then I was a voice major in college and had vocal lessons almost all throughout college. Uh, I haven't taken one since, though, which is kind of sad. I do kind of miss that. All right, let's see. I still got that one and that one. Okay. We'll go talk to this parrot and get some more help. Just so I know what I'm looking for. Secret path. That's not going to help me. That's a later. Paul's here. Found with the late kingdom art. That's not helpful right now. And you're not going to help me out on it anymore. Okay, great. I love it when you do that, Mr. Parrot Dude. Okay. So I'm betting... One of these has to be... Oh, Secret Path to Lake Lamode is that one. Lake Kingdom Art is that one. And that's all that's left. So, oh, the taxi didn't even come here. Or we already got it. Okay, so we have done everything we can do in the Lake Kingdom. All right. Well, there we go. But at least all we've done, all we can do at this moment. Because I think what you guys have... Wait. So hang on. Wait. Found with the Lake Kingdom art. That's this art, right? Hang on. That's this one, right? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, I was looking in the wrong... Or uh, Bubba was looking in the wrong spot earlier. Okay. Um, yeah, let's try to go do that. Let's go to the Cascade Kingdom. All right. But hey, we got like 50 moons this, uh, this stream. So that's good. Yeah, let's go back to... Let's go to Cascade Kingdom. Okay. Okay. So, it's from their perspective. So, there's one, two, three, four, five, and where the sixth one is supposed to be. 
Ah, that's the moon. There we go. Found with the late kingdom art. Got it. All right. So that's all I can do for this moment. At least for late kingdom. So I'm guessing on the next stream, we'll start working on the wooded kingdom. So I'll go ahead and just get here, open the rock, and then that's probably where we'll end the stream today. We might be ending a tad bit early, but we finished the whole kingdom, so that's nice. Or finished everything but one, and we can't do it right now anyways, so we've done all we can right now. So let's go get that one. I think it is this way, I believe. Oh, there it is. Mushroom Kingdom? Yeah, we still got something to finish in Mushroom Kingdom. There's going to be a bunch for that one. And there we go. Oh, and we got a bunch here. So let's look how many are here total. There's 76. Okay, but we already have 20. So that's good. Since we got a bunch doing that. And then we have all those. But this is a really big level, so that may take us a while to get through. But yeah, we've gotten all the ones we can from... Oh, wait. Have we captured everything we can yet? <gasps> no, there's few we haven't done there one there one there and one there huh oh yeah here we go so yeah late kingdom cloud kingdom there's two yeah there's cap kingdom we're missing one cascade kingdom we're missing one those are both the arts oh secret path so secret path there. Are you art? Okay, you're art. And I think that art led to the moon. So we can't really do that to we're at the moon. Sand Kingdom, we're missing three. Secret path and found with the Sand Kingdom art. And then there's a... Oh, that's the that's a taxi. Okay. All right, cool. I just wanted to see what we were in for with this. Wear the Wooded Kingdom outfit. Okay, let me go... I think I've unlocked it. I don't know. Have I unlocked it? Let's see. Oh, sorry. Spend money. I have not, but I don't have enough money. Oh, I, I have the safari gear. So I could do that one. Okay. Wait, I skipped it. There we go. Cool. All right. Well, we're doing pretty good. All right. So that's where we're wrapping it up for this stream, you guys. We're doing pretty good. We got to get to 999 moons, and we made it to 570, I think. So we still got a ways to go, but we're going. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys again on Friday. We're going to try to work through some of the Wooded Kingdom. We're definitely not finishing it on Wednesday, but we're going to get as far as we can, and we'll see if we can finish it up on Monday. All right. See you guys later. Bye.